finished. So though I know I still have a little bit more to do in terms of building keyframes, if I go to my stage at this point with 16 frames, I can run a little animation test with this timeline tool using not the video timeline, but the frame by frame timeline. I can click on the window options of the timeline tool and make frames from layers. I have 16 layers, I have 16 frames. One of those frames is, is the background empty frame. So I'm gonna drag that to the trash. Then I'm gonna hold down shift and select all of them so I can set a timing. And my default timing is usually 0.3 seconds. So around three seconds or three frames per second. And I'm gonna play it through. And I see how that starts to work. So far, so good. I can tinker with individual timings if I want. Like if I want the crack to grow faster, I can pause it. I can go to those frames where the crack is forming and I can make that a little bit faster, like 0.2 seconds for those three. And then see how that looks. So that's animating within the timeline just adjusting from the, the frames you already have. And those frames are generated from the layers. Okay. So if that works and I know I need to add more, I actually need to select all of these timeline frames from my animation test and drag them to the trash because if I keep them outputted and I add another layer, as I will, it will add that image to all of the frames and it will just be a headache. So keeping the process as simple as possible. Not as easy, but as conceptually understandable as possible. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna move just working from the top out, I'm just gonna move all of these out further. All of the different shell pieces. They're on individual layers so they can move in different ways. So they look like dynamic parts. And then start to topple the bases as well. Have that kind of fall away and maybe shrink a little bit. If I want to know where that foot actually started, I can always turn on a reference layer to help guide it. Then I'm going to change my creature. My creature gets bigger and is now dropping out from the bottom of that, that shell. From this, to this, so we got some good movement there. Then I move the rest, really blow these out. Maybe rotate them. This is where, you know, the study of animation and something called um, squish and bend can really matter. Like if I initiate a rotation, I wanna keep that rotation going But in GIF animation, we don't need that kind of animation discipline yet. But it's the understanding of physics and kinetic movement and what, what looks natural to the eye. I'd like to maybe have these overlap a little bit. I'm not sure though. And then let's make this leg fall away a little bit and shrink a little bit, and distort a little bit, and line it up with where the foot was before. 
getting kind of kicked out of the way. Good. And now we play with the clouds. We keep moving those clouds. This is going to be the most subtle part of this animation. But I'm going to point it out as I'm playing it. Even though you can't tell any difference, you'll see it when it's moving. Like old film grain. And then the overall visibility. Now here's the key. I'm playing with this overall background visibility on the clouds, but I need to go back to my original frame to actually see how bright it was. So that's pretty bright. So I need to be a little bit more aggressive about how I take down this opacity now, because I'm moving back towards the beginning. All right, so this is my next frame. Hold down Option, go to Layer, Merge Visible, Select all, copy, paste that new layer as a new frame on top. Very dramatic. Boom. And then keep going. Deselect. Delete that merge copy. Now let's see how many creatures I have before I get set to the beginning. I have three, three more frames. Let's see if I can make it happen. There he is. All of these pieces, some of them are completely gone. I think this one's completely gone. I think this one's completely gone. Now this one, I'll just show the edge. Right there. Pushing all the way off the frame. This one, not that one. This one. It's always little things that are going to bug me. That little tail is going to bug me, so I'm going to delete it. All right, and then the base. The base I need to change pretty dramatically. I need to have it fall and kind of shrink and distort and maybe have a back edge on that shell. Maybe even texture it and shade it a little bit. Again, kind of overplaying it. I can always burn it too. All these options, we're just controlling pixels. We have to line that up with where it should fall and kick away. Okay, and now to the next one. This gets pushed out all the way. This gets pushed out, I think, all the way. This gets pushed out. Can we just see a little bit, and I'll get rid of that little lip. And that reveals the creature's, the new creature's tail. Out from the husk of the old tail. Just these silly cartooning things can have a lot of complications when you actually get down to the, the animation of them. I'm a big fan of Looney Tunes. They've solved a lot of visual problems in their day with the crazy things they want to show. And now showing this bottom leg. Rotating off and distorting, shrinking down. And falling out, like so. So from that to that, move the clouds.
do, 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 and decrease the fog just a little bit. So we're getting back to the beginning. All right, that's my next frame. Go to the top, flicker that shadow. I'm going to start building it again because now we have a new creature that's casting a shadow. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. It's command C to copy it all, Command V to paste it in. Moving fast now, working on a deadline. Darken the shadow. Turn off these last bits. Oh shoot, I somehow got a little mark there I didn't want. Before I turn off the last bits, I'm going to re-output that last frame. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Oh, I know why that frame exists. It's because on this layer, I drew it on the wrong layer. That's why compositing skills are important, knowing which layer you're affecting. OK, now, now that's right. Bad things happen when you try to rush. Merge visible. Select all. Command C, copy. Command V, paste it in. Get rid of that last one. There we go. Deselect, delete the merge layer. Darken the shadow a little bit. Get rid of that. Push this now. all the way over and down, have it fall away. Have the bigger creature appear. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Have this fall and fall away. Move the clouds. and decrease the fog just a little bit and get rid of all that extra glow on the leg that extra glow isn't extra it's just being revealed because i'm lifting the fog on another layer so we go from that to this. Let's merge it. Hold down Option, Layer Merge Visible, puts it all into one layer. Select All. Copy it, Command C, paste it in place. That's my next frame. Make sure it's in the right place. Remember, you can always do a little mini animation chest test just by playing through your eyeballs in your stage. Deselect, delete the merge layer, darken the shadow a little bit more. Now these are gone. Now my full creature is showing. Now the fog moves one last time. And lifts towards the beginning. And then maybe I'm going to go to my very first frame and see if that pose is too similar. It's very similar. So I'm going to change the pose just a little bit so it doesn't look stilted and go to make a duplicate. Always good to make a duplicate. And then puppet warp it just slightly for the new set to reset image. That will be my animation.